Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. Today we're getting into the second part, part two of my fabulous Fendi haul unboxing. Holy guacamole! We have got these yeah, to get through. Let's do smallest to largest. Let's do that as an order. Um, first off, if you haven't seen my previous Fendarche video, I'll have that link down below. And this all came from a Harrods trip that the lion and I took. I will have that vlog linked down below as well. And it is safe to say, it turned into a Fendi-tastic day. It was all about Fendi. Other brands didn't get a look in. I went in to collect specifically this thing that I had ordered through my client advisor and we are not going to faff around today. We are going to get straight into the unboxings because I want to use these things. <laughs> oh no, I said we're going to get straight into the unboxings, but if you are new to my channel, then hiya, I'm Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms. It makes me very excited. It makes me very excited. And if you love luxury in all of its glorious forms, then get down there, hit subscribe and ring my bell so you don't miss out on any of my luxury shenanigans. Share the videos you enjoy with a thumbs up love and don't forget to follow me on Instagram matte lipstick it doesn't help okay this is what I went in to pick up I had ordered this with my client advisor she got one in for me I had been thinking about this forever um, from the previous, the first Harrods vlog I did with you guys and um, if you know, I know Dale knows because we've talked about this a lot um, but if you think you know what this is, pause the video, get down in the comments get down in the comments, tell me what you think it is then maybe pause, don't pause the video until I've finished talking and then pause the video, anyway if you think you know what it is, tell me in the comments section and then press play and find out if you are correct. That is going to be your prize, knowing whether you're correct or not. So this is normal Fendi. This isn't Fendarchi, which is why I split up the boxings into two videos. And also because um, it would have been too long. It would have been too long a video. So I've got my little dust bag here and some things. What are these? These are, are these little care cards and stuff. Just some things in the bottom of the box here. So we've got the lovely yellow, Fendi yellow, very, very bright, I like it. Dust bag, dust bag, dust bag. Do you know what this is? You're about to find out. Oh my god, it's so cute. She's giving me all the candy cane vibes. Yes, it is. It is the Nano Baguette from the Spring Summer 2022 collection and it is in the lovely multi colourway, stripy colourway. Let's get rid of this little stickery thing. Actually we'll do that in a second, we'll make sure everything's okay. I did look at it in store and I thought it was fabulous. I intend to wear this. This is going to be my do the food shop on a Saturday morning bag because I will put my car keys, my house keys, my um, payment card and a lippy or whatever and it's just going to be absolutely perfect. Now the lion didn't like it the first time we saw it and we went into Harrods and I didn't buy it then and I should have just bought it then but I allowed an influence to be um, made there so I left it behind, couldn't stop thinking about it. If this colour had come in a normal size baguette I would have bought it like that, absolutely. I said it before on my Get ready with me, Fendachi broke my heart video. I would have bought it instantly there and then. The big sister of this is in the midi with the double chains, like my Saleron puffer bag. Um, but I didn't want that for a baguette. I wanted all of the removable handles. This little cutie just does it for me. She's got a little popper, a little popper opening there. And again, we've got the, got the label on here we've got a detachable shoulder strap 
um, which has got itself in a little bit of a knot there. This doesn't feel quite as fine as the one on the Fendace one, um, but it's the same same sort of thing here. You've got like, little clips there that you can remove it with, um, and inside it is this sort of very pale creamy white, matches this colour here on the inside. It's all leather and it's got just this little slip pocket at the back there to keep your card upright and then you can pop all your other little bits and pieces in there. Yes, I will be carrying this as a crossbody. This is going to need scissors. Scissors, 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 because she's not going anywhere. Let's cut that off and make it a little bit easier to see. There we go, label off. So bloody adorable. Okay, so I think the little popper is going to be harder to close when she's empty, um, but a lot of bags are like that when they've got poppers. Crossbody, yes, absolutely. And then ignore the chain, but then on the belt loop there as well. Um, it, this is a cracking little piece. And I think, I think it's going to be used a lot. So this was the first piece that I wanted to get. I am so happy I have it now. Cannot wait to use it. Um, this is what we went in specifically to pick up. Now my client advisor said she would be happy to ship it out to me. She'd be happy to ship anything out to me. She could send me a payment link and I could pay online. But there was something else that I wanted to try when we were there because, you know, I have had some issues, let's say issues, with um, luxury footwear. This is a shoebox. I have issues with luxury footwear. The Lion bought me some Gucci boots um, that didn't work. My size was too big. The size smaller was too small. Um, got wide feet and I never really, I basically stopped looking. Uh, the McQueen oversized sneakers, which were my dream shoes for ages, they didn't work either. They were either too big, too small. Um, and I've got very wide feet, so I kind of basically just went, do you know what? It's never going to happen. Get over it, Gwenny. You're never going to have um, luxury designer fashion house shoes. And then one of my fellow YouTube buddies got these and they claim to have wide feet and no problems with these so I thought okay I'll give it a go I'll try them and we'll see if um, if I have the same experience these are so incredibly well packaged They've got little pillows, look at all this tissue paper. This is like harder paper. This is like really super soft tissue paper. Let's get these both out and close up. I don't even know which way around this way. There we go. If you're gonna do something when you do it properly. These are in plastic bags as well, so let's remove the plastic bag. And by the way, dust bags for shoes. I love the style, I never thought I'd be able to wear them. I thought they would be too slim for me. I have bought myself a pair of the Colibri medium heel height. This beautiful gold heel. Um, Colibri's medium heel height in this the lion called it a Neapolitan. It reminded him of a Neapolitan ice cream. And I see it. I absolutely see it. And it makes me want to eat ice cream. So I see a Knickerbocker glory in my immediate future. Fingers crossed. And um, yes, look at them. Look at them. The colours, as the lion says, these will go with nothing, therefore they will go with everything. Obviously had to go with a bit of the pinky pink. We've got a bit of lilac, we've got a bit of acid 
kind of yellow there as well kind of mustardy acid mustard is that a colour as acid mustard um and it's it's got the mesh and i'll leave links to everything down below so you can go and look at them and get more of the details because there will be so much that i miss as part of this um unboxing but yeah look at them i went for the medium heel because i don't wear heels but this is enough to make me feel a little bit more zhuzhy they're pointy i don't generally go for pointy shoes um, yeah, these are these are amazing dressy shoes that I can wear dressed up and dressed down. I'm not entirely sure if the colours are a perfect kind of match. I don't know if I'd wear these together. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, certainly any wedding or any event that I've got to go to is going to be completely dealt with <laughs> by these. Um, they are absolutely glorious. And as Dale has mentioned before, although the the um the leather base of the shoe is smooth so you'd need to rough it up a little bit to get a bit of bit of traction there and um, it does have the toe pointy bit there to help save your pointiness of your your shoesies oh my gosh okay getting giddy now um what do you think of these i tried on the brown the classic brown and black ones as well um, but the lion loved them both on me, but he said, if you already had these ones, then go ahead and pick up the brown ones. But these ones were, he said a word that begins with F and it ends in ing, fabulous, ing, fabulous. Let's leave it at that. Um, and uh, had his wholehearted approval to go for it. <laughs> okay. My gosh, I cannot believe this. This is like I've gone from naught to Fendi in, um, I've gone from a strap, and we'll get onto that in a second, um, in just like one day. It's been absolutely crazy. And this is the final purchase. And this is this lovely magnetic closure box. This is a handbag. It's quite a big box. I'm not sure why I got such a big box. Maybe they didn't have um, smaller ones for the bags. In here, I have got my first Fendi handbag, and it will go with my Fendi strap. It was all part of the plan. Let's turn you around. I went for a baguette, the mini baguette, in black. Now, you might be saying to yourselves, but Gwenny, didn't you say you weren't going to buy any more black handbags? And you would be partially right, but I also said that I didn't have a small evening-y type black handbag. Um, I have got my Aspinall Gold, I've got my Red Louis Vuitton, I've got my Aspinall Micro Lotti um, and, and Miss Prada. But I didn't have like a black evening bag that I could use, so this is the most versatile bag I could come up with. It has the little grab handle if you are just grabbing and going. Oh, love it. It's got also, it's padded, padded out, so let's get rid of some of that. Woo. It's also got a crossbody chain and leather strap, which is, again, the perfect size for me. And we tried this strap on Winnie and we tried this strap with it because I was a little bit concerned that this strap might be a bit too big and bulky for this bag and it's um it isn't it's just right so I think this this will cover so many bases for me it is a black handbag but I think it's going to be an absolutely cracking all-rounder what do you think? Are you surprised I didn't go for the pink one? The pink was a bit warm for me. I wanted something a little bit cooler. So there she is without her straps. So Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. And here she is with the strap that I picked up at Bista Village. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think it's going to be absolutely perfect. In fact, I am going to use it now. So let's peel this off together. Yes. And I'm going to load it up 
and uh, take the hubby into town for a little haircut. Don't panic kids, he's not having it all taken off. I think this classifies as a haul. I cannot believe it, my Fendi baguette quotient um, went from zero to three all in one day. That's astonishing to me and um, I feel very grateful and very lucky to be in a position to be able to do that. I am going to sign off now and take the Hubster into town. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please do show it the thumbs up love. Let me know what you think of all of these pieces in the comments section down below. And until I see you, yes you, boop, for the next video, which let's face it, isn't gonna be an unboxing for a little while, so we're gonna to have to come up with some other things. Leave me some suggestions in the comment section down below as well. Stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay fan dabby dozy, and bye bye